Alarm 2 on the Alpha I servo amplifier indicates a problem with the incoming power for the electronics. This presentation will demonstrate the troubleshooting procedures involved. If the incoming power to the servo drive's logic board is below 22.8 volts DC, an alarm 2 will occur. If the power is significantly low, the display on the amplifier will be blank because it won't be powered up. CNC alarm SV434 will be your on-screen indication that this is happening. This alarm is typically pointing to problems outside of this unit, either a bad power supply, bad cable, or bad connection. The servo amplifiers are in the electrical cabinet, and opening the cabinet with power applied potentially exposes you to danger. In order to accurately troubleshoot the exact cause of this alarm, you will need to have power applied to the equipment. Don't attempt to perform anything discussed in this presentation if you're not both fully qualified to do so and have the equipment owner's permission to do so. Once you are done troubleshooting and before performing any maintenance, follow all plant safety and lockout procedures. These procedures should include releasing all energies related to the maintenance procedure performed. When it comes to this alarm, keep the big picture in mind. The power comes from one place, the power supply, and is shared with multiple units. If only a single amplifier is detecting that power is low, that would be extremely odd. In the setup shown here, you have the power supply on the left, the source of the 24 volts, and to its right is a spindle amplifier, followed by four servo amplifiers. If power were slightly low, you could expect to see alarm 2s on all of the servo modules, and an alarm 10 on the spindle amp, that is its version of this problem. The voltage comes from connector CXA2A on the power supply module, goes to CXA2B on the next unit, and daisy chains across all of the amplifiers fed by that same power supply. The connector consists of eight pins. It has two rows labeled A and B. The pins are numbered 1 through 4. Molded into the plastic, you will see the labeling. 24 volts is on pins A1 and B1. Ground is on pins A2 and B2. If you find the voltage is good to the unit with the alarm 2, replace the unit, or at least the gray logic board. If the voltage on CXA2A, A2B is truly low, check the incoming power to the logic board of the power supply module. Checking the power is a little different depending on the model of power supply you have. If the PSM has a CX1A connector, the incoming power is single phase AC. Measure voltage between pins 1 and 2. The minimum allowable voltage is 170 volts AC. If the PSM has a CXA2D connector, it uses the same connector as CXA2A, A2B. The incoming power is 24 volts DC. The minimum allowable voltage is 21.6 volts. Voltage is on pins A1 and B1. Ground is on A2 and B2. Assuming the incoming power to the power supply module is good, check the voltage coming out of CXA2A on the PSM. If it is low, replace the power supply. If the CXA2A voltage is good from the power supply, but bad at the input to a servo amplifier, track down the cause of the voltage drop in between. We're just a free phone call away. You can reach us at 888-326-8287. Press 2 for CNC, and then 2 for technical support. For the parts department, press 2 for CNC, then 1, and 1 again. Thank you for your time.